All right, got a 1996 SPX. Uh, that's 720. Now we've already fully rebuilt these carburetors. No, I didn't do a video on it. Um, that was actually for the Bayliner Father's Day ride. We were doing it last minute. All new fuel lines, fuel filter was cleaned, tank's been cleaned. Fully back to OEM, OSD Marine kits, and still even with tuning. So it runs perfect off outside the water. On land. <laughs> on land. That's it. I got Ronnie here by the way. Um, but it runs perfect on land. Soon, I mean as soon as the damn pump touches the water and dies and will not start back up like it's flooded you pull it out turn it over for a second hold it wide open and then it'll start back up run great rev 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 runs great touch the water dies immediately every time no matter what it was the most infuriating thing we've ever done in our lives sucked so we have to do rotary valve clearance so I got the rotary valve wheel. It's a little dirty, don't worry about that. And then we're going to check the clearance of the rotary valve after we pull the carbs. And then check the timing. Uh, that's why I got the wheel, not for the checking the rotary valve clearance, but for the timing. So we will get back with you when we pull. We're gonna just pull the four bolts for the carbs, lay those out of the way, and then I'll get back with you. Only removing the pulse line. You gotta get down in there and remove her. <laughs> like he thought he was gonna go fast with these mint, with these mint uh, <laughs> handles, these grips here. There was a little shade off, eh? No, I'm saying that you were ready to go fast with them. Yeah. And the damn ski wouldn't run. After we covered all our bases by going back OSD OEM. Interject uh, NASCAR noises. <laughs> All right, to get that cover off there, bud. Gonna do two bolts here, one in the middle, one on each side. Right there, right there. Let's see if I can feel it. That feels smooth. Oh, it might not be. What do you feel it? Yeah, it feels smooth. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. Look how much my hand's moving. It's not, it, it's timing all right. It's either fully stripped or it's wore the hell out. I've never seen one move that much without moving the rotary valve, so it's probably stripped. sloppy that's not moving the crank that is just slop and if you look in there we just discovered the old snap ring boys there ain't no way I can do this through my iPhone okay we'll do it off camera but we're gonna remove that snap ring try to get her out all right snap ring removed we got a bolt in the end of it and then i got my old monkey wrench like a like a slide hammer here hey. Hey. Can I have you? Can I we expected to see more carnage but it's just got to be worn out evenly all right so you can right. see where the rotary valve was chattering had a bunch of slack Corey, why you keep fucking bunch of bullshit, dude? This is why we keep the bullshit. Yeah, that's way less slack than the other way. Oh, Still dude. got a tiny bit, but look at the mill marks, dude. She's a healthy motor. Dude, if this is the same rotary valve, you should definitely use this. Chat. It looks like it is. All right, come to find out. I think when this motor was rebuilt, because they painted it and has all new gaskets, 
when we found this, this ring was up here, up against this one, and that's why it was all sloppy, because this whole deal was moving around, like, big time. Like everything was ate up. We thought this spacer was worn down like this one wasn't. But we go to pull these off. And we noticed that there was another one way down here. So we're going to throw her back together. Literally all the running issues was one little ring. Look at this. So what do you right. want? You go bring this into Utah tomorrow and go test it? All right, check this out. Look. As soon as I move the crank, rotary valve moves. Heck yeah! Oh God, yeah, she's not in there, buddy. You gotta go in more or come out? Uh, push her in. This one's right towards me. Push her in. There it is. That's in there like swimwear. Gonna put 360 and zero at the bottom of the port. And now we gotta mark 147 at the top. So 360's at the bottom. Right there. And come on this side. Where's 147? That's that clear mark right there. 150. Seven, go down here. Three sixty, top of the port. Come up with it. All right. Now let's shine down. had our marks slid it on made sure it was right tighten it back down boys make sure your sails are good now we're going back together well, that's got to be the prettiest install of some honda bond i've ever seen it had a little nick in one of the rotary valve seal oil cavities and the thing so we just put a little bit on there just to be safe we don't want no air leaks throwing in take back on there all right, got the carbs on, got the intake on, got everything bolted down, got the spaghetti. And we already tested it a little bit, but look, look at it, look at it, look at it. You breathe on the button. Look. couple hour deal got her done just one little circlip tell them bye